with the introduction of breakdown version 2 it is now easier to build a layout like the one that you see on the screen having overlapping columns having overlapping images so in this video i'm going to show you how to build something as unique as this first let's go into my figma designs so this is what i built already in figma and the reason why we are looking at it over here is i want to show you that in this design i'm going to put this all the way to the edge all right so in this design you can see that only a fraction of this is overflowing on that the reason why this is important it gives you an idea of how many columns that you do need when you are creating your grid from here i do think that i do need like six columns so that this will span three initially this will span three and then i can span this an extra one column to give it four so it doesn't look too long or the width is not too wide than it should be all right so we are going to create a six column layout back into our design over here we already built this out i want to show you that this is also very responsive on all breakpoints which is really good and we are building this out using both the basic and the advanced grid layout so whatever way that you want to deal with this you'll be able to do it you don't need um the advanced or you don't need the basic you can use any of them all right that being said let's get into building this so the first thing i'm going to do is i want to remove all the options that we've given it and then i also want to select this and also remove all the options in the advanced select this remove all the options in the advanced building this is really like straightforward first let's deal with the advanced way all right so selecting this and then the grid from here you can put the values in any any of these two available spaces we are going to use grid template we do need a six column layout so first and first let's define our height backslash and then the repeat open bracket six comma one fr for the width that being done the next thing is to make sure that this is covering three and then this is also covering three to do that we are going to select this div and open the subgrid options and then let's pan this three columns let's select the image also go into subgrid and then we are going to span this three columns the next thing is to make sure that this is spanning on top of that so what we can do next is i'm going to go into my dev and then in here when you go into layout you'll be able to check this for what you're building so there's the grid overlay let's refresh this all right so you can see that we've built this is exactly what we have here in our div so in here what i want to do is i want this to overlap over here so i wanted to pass number four and get into number five so how do you do that so let's go back into our development we are going to select this and then go into our subgrid and then i'm going to remove everything here and put the number one backslash and then put the number five so now this is spanning from this is spanning from number one to number five let's refresh so you can see that so this is what we have now but this has been pushed down we want this to go back to where it was all right we're going to still be this being selected we're going to make sure that this one this red one the dev sticks to number one so you can see this is number one the top here is number one and then the bottom here is number two also this is number one number two number three but when it comes to the row we want it to still be at number one because if it doesn't this is going to push it away and this is going to stay in number one and it's going to come down to number two but we want it to overlap so going back into our design in the grid area we want to say that stay at number one all right that's done you're absolutely not going to see nothing right now but when we select the image and then go into our subgrid and then we say this one should stay at number one this is what it's going to look like but then this has been shrunk to start from a different place which is not what we want so now this is starting at number five even though we've told it to span three columns 
So how do we make sure that this is spanning three columns and it is starting from number four? So to do that, we can remove everything from here and then type the number four backslash where we want it to end. We want it to end over here. It is showing number eight, but it should be number seven. So let's put the number seven over here. So we do have something more like this. Let's save it. And then we can refresh and we do see something like this. Let's say you are a bit confused. What that you can also do is you can just put negative one. Negative one just means that this one spans to the end of the grid. All right, so that is good. The next thing that we want to do is to make sure that this is not hiding behind that. So this sec this dev being selected, I'm going to go back into uh, advanced and then I'm going to look for index. Your Z index and then you can just change this onto any Z index that you want. I'm going to use five. You can just use two. two. It doesn't actually matter for the design here because this is on number one. All right. So this is how you build that overlapping. Then we can also center everything here by selecting our section. Then in the justify items, we can center it and then that is how you also do that. The next thing is to make sure that we can make this responsive. But before we get into that, let's go into our basic grid and see how you can also do that from the basic grid. So that being selected, you can see we do have something like this. We have already done the advanced. We already gone into this. Um, open it. We already gone into this devs and given the information that we do need. So all that we need to do is selecting this. We can just put in the value that we want here, which is six, and it works just like that. You don't you don't have to do anything much as long as you have defined your cell values or your grid item values, which we did over here. So grid. That's all that is needed. So whether you start from the basic one or you use the advanced one, you can come to the same conclusion. All right. Selecting by agree, let's go into advanced. Over here, we want to deal with responsiveness. So I think making this stack on the tablet portrait is a better idea when it comes to, let's say your design so that this looks cleaner. All right, so we're gonna try and make sure that this is overlapping each of them. We can, what we can do is we can start with defining that we want only one, only one column. So we have something more, more like this. And then what we can do is we can select this very one, which is this div, and then go into our grid and say that we want this to be a number one, right? This is also at number one. So we want to select this two and then go into that grid. And say we want this to be a number two. So you can get something more like this and then you can just save it from there. All that you have to do is go back into selecting your section. You can give this a row gap of let's say 50 pixels. And it should be okay. So when we go into our front end and we refresh and we choose something more like tablet, you can see that this is the design that we've done. You don't have to do much to make this responsive. You just have to make sure that you input the correct values. So this is how you build an overlapping responsive grid using breakdance version 2. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy and learn something or you did any of that, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. My name is Nyako. I'll catch you in the next one.